Hello everyone and well, welcome to Ian's Bricks, I'm Ian and today I've got a load of stuff behind me which I'm actually taking to a Lego Sellers Fair next weekend. Uh, it's taking quite a lot of sorting through but I just thought you'd like to see all of the sets that I'll be taking with me. Uh, this will be the first time I've ever been to any kind of Lego uh, Sellers Fair, anything, any kind of that, anything like that before. So I'm kind of new to all of this, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. Uh, but I've got a load of decent sets uh, to take with me, so hopefully I'll be able to sell a few of them when I'm there. Uh, so the actual sale itself is happening in uh, Milton Keynes, uh, which is in Buckinghamshire, which is sort of just north of uh, London, really, in the UK. Uh, for me, that's around about a two and a half hour drive. Uh, so next weekend, I'm going to have to get up really, really early. So this will be October, Saturday, October the 23rd. Uh, get up really, really early, drive to Milton Keynes, get all this lot out on display uh, and hopefully the, the sale will be a success. Um, obviously with, uh, with investing in Lego reselling there are various ways that you can sell your items. Uh, I've decided to do this because I'm not a particular fan of the whole eBay post and packing all that kind of stuff. So anyway let's have a look at some of these sets that I'll be taking with me then. So as you can see I've got a whole load of stuff here that I'm going to be taking to this, uh, to this investment sale. Uh, to this Lego Sellers Fair. A lot of the stuff, as you can see, what I've, what I've decided to do is to put um, some Ziploc bags around some of the medium and smaller items. Uh, just a couple of reasons. A, to protect the box, but uh, also I'll be able to put uh, price stickers on the outside without ruining the Lego boxes, because there's nothing that annoys me more than going somewhere and having great big stickers all over the Lego boxes. It's my big bugbear. And I know not everybody's going to be buying stuff um, to keep the boxes like I do, but that's just something I like to do. So, uh, so yes, there's quite a few of the items that haven't got bags yet so I've still got to put I've got some more bags I'll put the rest of those in later on but let's just sort of have a general look around and show you some of the bigger items that I've got this one here is the Death Star the original Death Star 10188 I know you can't see the full boxes but they are there this is uh, 10193 which is the medieval market village that's from about 10 years ago uh, we have this one here which is the Big Ben set uh, that's from a few years ago as well that's 10253 uh, we've got one of the green grocers, I've got a few of these, uh, 10185, so there's another another one of the modular buildings there. Uh, another big set we have here is the 60051, which is the Lego train, you can just sort of see the front of that there. Uh, and at the back we have another modular building, 10197, which is the fire brigade. Um, I've got some other stuff as well, I've got Star Wars stuff here, a lot of this is... Uh, Either gifts with purchases or things that I bought a few years ago, so hopefully they'll be uh, they'll be worth sort of selling. I've got one hidden side thing there. Um, I don't think that's going to do particularly well, but I thought I'll take it with me to see if I can get rid of it. What other sets have I got that are worth looking? At? Oh, I've got Wall E. That's that's quite a that's doing quite well on the secondary market now. Two one three zero three. Uh, I've also got this here, which is a big bang theory. I've only got one each of those. 21302 there from the Lego Ideas range, which are great. I've got some city stuff like this this bus that's been out of stock for a few years. Uh, and I've got some quite a few smaller sets as well. So this is an unusual parts pack they did a few years ago, 40170, in that weird shaped box there. Um, uh, Harry Potter Book of Monsters taking one of those. I'm trying to take sort of one each of pretty much everything um, where I've sort of got. I've got some items like this where I've got more than more than one, so I'll take a couple of those. Uh, got taken a couple of the um, uh, the VW campers as well, set uh, 10220, because I've got quite a few of those. So I thought I'd try and uh, get rid of a couple of those if I can. So as you can see, there's quite a selection of stuff. Um, I'm going to go through now, sort out the medium and smaller size sets which don't have the plastic bags on and then I need to put them into, uh, into those bags and then put them into some boxes which I can carry in my car. Um, I've also got uh, some minifigures and some poly bags so let's have a look at those as well. This is the box then that's got all the uh, poly bags and a few other things. I've got things like these um, pencil cases which I got to gift with purchase last year or the year before. I've even got this uh, VIP uh, key ring, the Han Solo one. Uh, but most of them as you see are just poly bags. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Speed Champions, Trolls, um, Creator, 
I've got some older creator, these things here, they're from about 10 years ago, these Sockcliffe planes. Uh, a couple of those, uh, another city set there, I hope you can see the light shining that off the uh, off the packets a little bit. Harry Potter, one of those weird poly bags there, some Easter ones, I'm not sure the Easter ones will sell very well this time of year. Some dots, I've got three of those, so I had loads of those, so I've got to try and get rid of those. I've got these older style, um, uh, there was a summer, this is from about 10 years ago, summer poly bag. There's the autumn one there, um, more of the same. Yeah, the Thanksgiving one, although I've only got one of those. Um, and summer ones as well, three of those. And then it gets to some of these V-Power things. I think a lot of these, I think, were given away from Shell garage stations in the UK. So all these sort of V-Power Ferraris, Shell stations. Um, I think there's quite a lot of those, all sorts of different cars and things like that. I'm going to take all of those out. There we go. And we've got some Star Wars stuff at the bottom. BB-8 there, Obi-Wan. Uh, the, Darth, the Darth Vader in a pod thing. All these little duck things, Hamley's minifigure, Friends, there we go, another Easter one, City, City, another hot dog star creator one there, uh, some superhero stuff here, some Iron Man, another Iron Man, and a Spider-Man. So that's all the poly bags I'm taking. I have another box of stuff here which is sort of key, more key rings and generally minifigures. So uh, it's a key ring that I managed to have there. We've got this gold man here which I've had for, for years. I must have had that for about 10 years. I'm not really into key rings myself. Uh, this uh, little red brick man as well in a key ring. I've got some series one um, minifigures from the original series, the clown there. So although they've all been opened and the minifigures are out, I've got the packets and the little inserts are inside as well. So there's a clown, uh, two clowns, I've got the cheerleader. I think I've got two of those, two cheerleaders. Oops, there we go. Uh, I've also got two of the zombies um, and I've also got the robot as well. I've got, oh, as you can see, loads of these, um, these little bunny, bunny bunny figurines to give away, to sell. Um, I've also got loads of other um, uh, minifigures as well. I've got a few of the Unikitty series. They weren't so popular, but never mind. I got those at discounted rate. I've got some Series 19 minifigures, quite a few of those, all of those there. Uh, and I've also got some Lego Movie 2 minifigures as well. So quite a lot of stuff in that box there as well. Some of the other things I have on sale as well. I've got some of the 16x16 16 16 plates in various colours. Um, I have these which I sort of made myself. So I've got a few mock things that I'm going to take with me. I really don't know whether these are going to sell. Probably not, but it's always worth going. So I built some buildable bricks. Um, and I've done a video about these ages and ages ago, but I thought I'd build a few of these. They, you know, they might be decent things to sort of get people enticed or to have a look at. Whether people will actually buy these, I don't know. So I've got quite a few of those. Um, I've also got some other mock builds as well. I mean, they're not they're not original designs. They're just things that I sort of designed and copied off other people. So I've got the little Mario Cube box, a smaller version. That's got a lid on as well, which comes off. Um, so uh, whether anybody will be interested in those, who knows. Um, I also did some Sean the Sheep characters. Let's get one of those out and see what that looks like. So here's my take on Sean the Sheep. I think I've got about five of those. They were just a fun little build. I just like the look of those. So whether anybody will ever want to buy one of these, who knows. I've also got some of these uh, Lego pencils. I've got quite a few of these. These are relatively uh, inexpensive for me to, to make. So if things are going a bit slow, I might start giving some of these things away as sort of like spend over a certain amount and maybe a free gift potentially, who knows? Um, and then I've got uh, a load of minifigures, just sort of random minifigures, which I'm probably gonna sell for about a pound 50 each. And these are actually all from the Lego Ludo game. Um, so I've got a few of those as well. So yeah, it's a weird sort of mix of, uh, of pieces in here.
So I've still got a lot of sorting out to do. Uh, all of these sets here that are now in the plastic bags, the little Ziploc bags that I've got, uh, they all need to be priced up. So what I will be doing on my stall is I will be doing a little sticky label with a price on uh, to go on the outside of every single item. I'm sort of carefully going through eBay and things like that to sort of see what things are worth and see what things are selling at. Uh, hopefully my prices will be uh, competitive enough that people want to buy some of my stuff, so fingers crossed for that. So I've still got quite a bit of work to do, uh, but if you, obviously, if you are in the Milton Keynes area, I know a lot of people that watch my videos aren't even live close to the, in, in the UK, let alone near to Milton Keynes. Uh, I think the event opens from 10am, uh, sorry, uh, with general admission from 11am. I've got a lot more things to do. I've got a couple of days off work next week to sort of help me sort everything out and get everything ready. And then once I'm finished, all these uh, boxes in the back, they're all going to have to go into my car. I've got a really small car, so it should all fit in. I've kind of measured everything up. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it all goes well. I will do a video um, of the actual event as well and probably when it's all finished I'll have a round up and, and do um, sort of what things were successful selling, what things weren't, whether it was worth going. I mean I don't know yet whether it's going to be any good. Uh, there might just be a lot of people that go to these things just to see some of the models and displays that they have rather than actually going to buy Lego. So it's a little bit of a, a mystery at the moment as to how things are going to go. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with pricing some of these items items up uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you to all the, uh, the people that comment uh, and like, uh, much appreciated and to all the subscribers as well, that's much much appreciated uh, and uh, as always thank you very much for watching and take care.